So taking a break from doing the shaders, I want to do this typewriter effect. That is super simple to do in Godot with a couple of lines of code and a built-in function of the label. So let's take a look. For this effect, what we're going to do is we're going to add a label to our scene. And in our label, I just put text that would be long enough that it would wrap. Uh, it's very important for what we're going to do here. We want to make sure that word wrap is on. And then we want to make sure that uh, under visible characters behavior, we want to do characters after shaping, which basically means uh, it's going to decide how the letters are justified based on font and style um, so that as we're doing our number of lines that we show, it doesn't try to re-justify text. And then we're going to use this visible characters um, element here, and that's going to be how we're going to do our magic. So let's jump into our script. And basically this is going to, we're going to add a script to our label. It's going to extend label. We're going to export a type speed and that's just going to put in our inspector how fast we want it to type. Uh, we're going to set up a couple of VARs. Our text length is zero because we want nothing to show at the beginning and we want to uh, uh, have an ability to skip where we can have like the space bar or whatever and we don't have to wait for it to type. On our function ready, we want to set our visible characters for the label to zero. That means that none of them will be showing. And then we're going to call this method type text. So I create this method type text and basically it's going to find the length of the text in the label and then it's just going to loop through that text length and if we're not skipping it's going to add one to the visible character which is going to add the time or add the number of characters to the visible and then we're going to just have an await here um, so that we can control the speed before the next character and then I just created an unhandled input event that basically says if I click any buttons it's going to uh, it's going to stop our characters. And then if we want to have really fun, we can add an audio stream player as well. And we can add that guy right there. And then all we have to do is add to our player uh, an MP3 sound of us typing uh, one character. And then every time we add a character, we'll add that typing sound. And then you can see we get the typing. At the space bar, it goes ahead and finishes. And that's our simple typewriter effect.